Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today we have an exciting new video for you guys. I'm actually gonna show you a little tip slash trick for the ads manager because a lot recently happened with the iOS 14 update and the reporting columns have not been working properly where you do not see totals at the bottom of the screen and stuff. And today I wanna show you a little trick that'll come help you out with that so you can kind of get your reporting columns to work out say probably 90 percent efficiently without having to use any third-party software so before we get started make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel for new videos every other day just like this one let's get started guys So with the announcement of iOS 14, Facebook has done a lot of weird things lately. You know, with verifying domains, you have to get that done. You have to set up these events now in the ads manager. Reporting has just been a nightmare lately, but we've been managing with using third-party apps, such as logging all of our data in Google Sheets and making our decisions based off of that right there. Just looking at total overall costs, so our total overall ad spend, and our total overall revenue in Shopify, and just making the best guesses we can with certain campaigns to turn them off and scale up as we can. But recently, I kind of discovered a new trick where we can actually get our columns back at again on Facebook so we can actually see the totals and stuff inside of the ads manager. So let's jump inside of the ads manager right now. So now we're inside the ads manager. What we can do is we can look and you can see right here, you can see the total spent, but you can't see any of the purchase conversion value for a lot of these campaigns right here. So one trick and the easy trick to do is simply go right here to customize columns and we go right here to compare in windows, turn off include and or you have to actually click one first so let's do 28 turn off include and hit apply now all of a sudden you will get pretty much your totals and everything back and you'll see right here total for today 396 spent and then we have about 19 purchases 830 this is correct so we do and when i do compare it against the shopify revenue we're currently at about 1300 so we're a little over a 2x we're actually we're on a 3, 3.1x return on ad spend for the day, which is really good. This particular account has a 1.39 break even ROAS, so right there in the green. Now, what a 28 day click attribution does is it's basically if someone converted within the last 28 days of clicking one of your ads, it's attributed to the ads manager. So if we actually turn this away, so let's go down and break down. Let's go to customize columns again. And let's say if we do a shorter window, Let's do a seven day click. And you can also even do a 28 day view if you want. So let's do a seven day click and it lowers down a little bit. So let's go over the last say seven days because you really need to look at a few days of data to really determine whether or not this is beneficial to you. So if we look at a seven day click, over the last seven days. So we have a few days to really kind of like compare. Go to customize columns and let's do a one day click. So we understand it's about a 1.66 ROAS right there. Let's try a one day click. We're at a 1.58. Now this particular product is one of those products you buy now or you don't buy at all. We had another company where I was like a gaming chair company selling really high ticket chairs. And we actually need to do a, sh you know, a longer day click to really determine the the uh the row ass and all that good stuff so let me go back to customize columns we did a one day click over a seven day window let's do a 28 day click over a seven day window and see how that looks and it's about the same around a seven day click so but again just play around with this see which one works best go with a higher window so try to go with a 28 day click um look at that right there uh you can also test a 28 day view let me just show you guys what a 28 day view is so let's go to customize columns and let's go to edit and let's do let's turn that off right there. And you can see a 28 day or yeah, it's a 28 day view. So a view attribution is if someone just views one of your ads and then goes purchase from your brand. So it's less likely someone's gonna view one of your ads and purchase from you. So it's totally okay. We optimize based off of clicks and look at clicks and stuff like that. You obviously look, you know, you're missing out just on a few sales. So I definitely look at that 28 day click and let's do 28 day. That's the one I would look at if I was in your you know scenario and it's the one I'll be carrying over my clients and I'll hit customize columns. Um, already got my preset pretty much saved. So I'm just gonna do conversions. I'm gonna do dash two. You can name it whatever you like. So there we go right there. Now we have our reporting columns. Everything is set up properly. Go to assets right there 
and we can see everything. So try this, it may help you out because I know with data and you know having the right type of data and be able to see and make these decisions and stuff, you know, with, with this iOS 14 update, I'm looking at huge data discrepancies. You know, for for example, a few brands we're running ads for, ads is, for Facebook is the only source of traffic and their customer retention still the same, their repeat customer rate is the same. So literally the only variables how much we spend and we've seen a drop in ROAS on the Facebook ad side, but we've seen an increase in ROAS overall and we're clueless. And literally it's just because Facebook is not always hundred percent correct. Sometimes they'll attribute more sales than they're, they're actually responsible for. Sometimes they'll attribute less sales than responsible for, and it's really hard to make decisions. So that's why I also do recommend to use some type of third party software. Uh, you can get super metrics, high rows or wicked reports. This is definitely not cost efficient at all, but for people that are really scaling their brand aggressively spending over 10k a month or making over 10k a month then i would highly recommend venturing out into one of these potential third-party data processors as it helps you make better decisions of what campaigns are profitable and what campaigns are not so i would really recommend right now that you stay with looking at your total shopify revenue and looking at your total ad spend if you're spending across multiple channels then you may, like I said, seriously need to get a third-party processor uh, for data to understand what you know what's going on. But 90% of you guys are probably just spending on Facebook ads. And if you are doing multi-channel, you're probably spending 100 bucks a day on Google ads and stuff. But some of these bigger brands we're working with, they're spending thousands of dollars a day on each channel. And then it becomes really haywire. So if you're just doing on Facebook ads, look at your total cost of Shopify, look at your total cost of, or your total revenue in Shopify, your total, um, you know, spend cost and ads manager and you'll be set to go. So if you're an e-commerce business owner and you are looking to scale um, and, and making over and you're, you're spending over a thousand dollars per day, click the link below to book a call with me and my team. We'll take a look at your account and everything and figure out the best route for you to go. We've helped multiple clients scale past six figures per month, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars per month in revenue with their e-commerce business, completely rebuilt out their customer acquisition and customer retention plans and have generated some massive results in the process. So click the link below to book call to our team and see what's the best route for us to help you out in the process. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for new videos every other day, just like this one. It's about that time, guys. Again, my name is Nick Terrio and I hope you have a great day. Peace.